Sarah Ginn has spent a decade photographing music events. She's been on stage at Glastonbury Music Festival and she's been a resident photographer at London's famous Fabric nightclub since she was 26 years old. Sarah says she's still in love with her job, but in September, she unexpectedly announced she was leaving the music photography industry. I had a incident with uh, one artist where he physically threatened me um, at some festivals that I worked at. He kind of manipulated my feelings over a period of time, but then I kind of stopped it because then I realised that was what he was doing. He was just trying to sleep with me and there was no kind of um, thought for me as a person at all. Um, and then after that, he went on a, a, a character assassination rampage around the scene, which was a problem for me as he's so powerful. I lost a, at least one huge client and very, very few people wanted to work with me because he has some kind of grip on, on the scene. Over the last month, it's become clear that Sarah's experience is far from unusual. As allegations of sexual harassment against Harvey Weinstein multiplied, women started turning the spotlight on other men in the creative industries. UK theatre director Max Stafford Clark was forced to resign over allegations of sexual misconduct towards younger women in his company. In TV, the political journalist Mark Halperin was fired after similar allegations against him. Fashion houses like Valentino and Bulgari have dropped one of their leading photographers, Terry Richardson, who for 20 years has been accused of sexually abusing models. And the shockwaves reached the contemporary art world when Knight Landsman, co-publisher of leading journal Art Forum, stepped down after he was named in a sexual harassment complaint. All this paints a picture of the arts as an industry where women are particularly vulnerable to sexual harassment, a place where careers depend on networking and favours. A lot of the powerful roles behind the scenes in the music industry are held by men and it kind of feeds into this old stereotype that's always existed of the woman being the kind of starlet or the image or the face of something and um, the man being the kind of puppeteer behind the scenes who's actually in control. Our sort of business or talking shop happens in kind of nighttime after dark venues and that kind of blurs the line of what is professional. Cash on your way. The scale of the recent revelations may be new, but their existence isn't. The singer Kesha, for example, has been in legal battle with her producer for more than six years over allegations he serially raped and abused her. Dr Luke denies these allegations. Although Kesha gained so much support, in terms of legal ramifications for what she alleges, there's been basically nothing. Dr Luke still is making money from her music, he still has not been charged with anything. What you see there is a very clear example of how men can emerge from these kind of scandals pretty much unscathed. If that's the case, is there any incentive on men in power to change the status quo? I'm a volunteer with an organisation called Great Men and we go into schools and facilitate workshops on misogyny, uh, masculinity. I think it's really important for men to take part because it's mostly a male problem, obviously. Um, it's to do with power imbalance and loads of complicated things, but it, it's sort of our problem to solve and it's kind of up to us to further the conversations and just have a think about the way that we engage with women and each other as well. For Sarah, who called time on the sexual harassment she'd experienced just weeks before the Harvey Weinstein scandal began, the creative industries need to reform. The blackballing needs to stop. The pushing out of people to do with jobs needs to stop. Creative industries are all about your reputation. So if your reputation is tarnished in any way by someone powerful, you don't get the plum jobs. Um, and also because it's completely unregulated. So it's, it's almost like a lawless land, the creative industries. The last week has seen fresh allegations, this time against Kevin Spacey. And this time it's younger male actors who have accused him of sexual misconduct. So it's clear this isn't a problem that's just encountered by women. It's a problem that happens at the cross-section of gender and power. And as long as men still disproportionately occupy those positions of power, those using the Me Too hashtag are more likely to be women. Belle Lupton, TRT World, London.